We begin tonight with a developing story. An eviction turns deadly. Police shoot and kill a woman in a Little Italy condo complex. An officer was also stabbed. Fox 5's Jamie Chambers is live with what happened. Jamie. And Kathleen, this all took place about 1230 just in the afternoon at the apartment complex just behind me on the fifth floor. And while there was a lot of violence, there are still a lot of questions to be answered. Attempting an eviction, sheriff's deputies reported a serious issue from the moment they saw the door open at the luxury Agua Vista apartment building. Deputies say the tenant inside was holding a large knife. Backup was called in and the San Diego police officers arrived. Witnesses say the scene was extremely tense. The woman seemed obviously very frantic. I couldn't understand. Obviously, I didn't understand what she was saying. She was yelling, yelling, yelling. The woman was known to the neighbors, but her identity is being withheld until family members are contacted. Only described by officers as a 47-year-old Asian woman. Deputies say a maintenance worker reported being threatened by the woman with a knife the day before. And when officers and deputies confronted her just inside her apartment. They opened the front door to the, to the apartment to make contact with a female. During that contact, the San Diego Police canine handler was stabbed in the chest with a large chef's knife, prompting an officer involved shooting. Investigators say three deputies and a San Diego police officer fired their weapons, and the woman was pronounced dead at the scene. San Diego police officer who was stabbed was rushed to the hospital with a puncture wound, but is expected to be all right. It's already been released from, from the hospital, so that is great news that our officer is doing very, very well. Neighbors were shaken by the violence surrounding the eviction. And to see this, uh, I don't like police officers getting hurt. And officers are still on scene. They say they're still in the infancy of their investigation. They also say that there were several body worn cameras when this incident went down and they're expected to release that in a number of weeks. That's very latest from downtown. I'm Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right, Jamie, thank you for bringing all that together for us.